What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Wendy, and I'm back with another video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and consider subscribing to your girl's channel. New videos are posted every Tuesday and Thursday, sometimes on Wednesdays, depending on what's going on. A1 since day one, or however long you've been here, I show sure appreciate you. Now I'm saying, now I'm talking about already, man, it's all love. So today I am showing you guys how you can glue tips to your tips. And so um, I'm using the Enel Couture um, Active Square uh, full coverage gel tips and I'm going to be using it with some um, other tips so I'm I decided that I want to get my flow Joe slash Gail Devers look on and so I said to myself I said self myself said huh I said let's look for some curved tips and so um, what you see me doing right now is you see me taking measuring up the nail and I um, I want to have it very flush to my natural nail. So that's why you see me cutting it off. I have already etched the inside of the you know, couture tip and as well as the um, tip for the uh, juice bar. I think that's what it's called. Juice something. It's juice something. You'll see it in the next clip. And so what I'm doing right here is I'm taking my handy dandy trusty rusty light and I'm using it to um, glue the tips down. I'm using the Builder Gel from Kiara Sky <clears throat> and I'm putting a thin layer of that on because, <clears throat> excuse me, you don't want to have too much glue on there to where it's like seeping out of the sides because you're going to have to file a little bit more. So when I was doing this um, on camera, of course, all my stuff is crooked. It's like crooked, linked to the side. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 got its own zip code going on. And so you want to press down. Ensure that you're pressing down um, on the nail very very well, and um, gluing it down as if you would be doing it on your natural nail. So now all I'm showing you guys is I'm showing you how it's looking, you know what I'm saying, on my nail. <laughs> Ain't it cute? It's cute. So right here, um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking my um, 80, 80 grit file and I'm going to be um, taking the nail down to where it is very seamless, it's very flawless. And I'm doing that because I don't want it to be bumpy and I don't want it to be lumpy. I want it to be a very smooth nail. And so doing this makes it to where it's very smooth. And I did have some places where there was some gel polish um, stuck up on there. However, I just uh, filed very, very um, gently, but very, very efficiently to get all that off. And so what you see me using on the white lint-free wipe is 90, 99% isopropyl alcohol. I'm using that because at the time when I needed alcohol, I had to order it. They didn't have none in the stove because of COVID. So I'm just going to be showing you guys what this is looking like over the next three or four nails. And I'm doing that because I want you guys to see how I'm actually doing it. Just work with your girl. I know it's out of, out of camera. It's off, you know, but just work with your girl. And so I did have, um, when I was doing, doing this to the nails, um, on the underside, it was sticky as well so just that's something just to keep in mind you can use regular nail glue i didn't want to use nail glue because i wanted to make sure that if i bump my nail or um if i need to use my nail for something that i was able to use it for whatever i needed to use it for and so i'm just lining up and measuring seeing if it fits it fits it works really really well i did this with another set that i had I'm not sure if I did the video for it. Um, I don't I don't remember because <laughs> it was a fail set. Um, but I did the same thing, but I ended up not liking that shape. So I decided that I was just going to soak those nails off and try again with another nail eventually later on down the line. These are um, tips, just regular. The curved tip is a semi-curved tip. And I got it from the juice lab i think that's what it's called yeah the juice lab on etsy um the nails themselves are 23 dollars, 
but and then you pay like five dollars for shipping so the total that i paid was 29.90 for these nails and so this is the this is the set they're pre-shaped durable clear less work less time and so i think the nail juice that's what it's called girl <laughs> the nail juice and so um i really did like how because i do have some other semi-curved tips but they're not as curved as these right here and then they're way wider i don't want to work with a wide nail because i like my stuff to to be slim so i'm just using my email couture souffle my clear souffle gel i have already like i said i've already etched the nail on the inside i apply primer to the inside of the nail i already did my prep off camera and so if you can't tell from my um what hand is this my right hand these bad boys here they super curved they are giving me super flojo vibes i really really like these nails and so i did do a deep dive down into the youtube stratosphere for curved nails and there were surprisingly enough there were not a lot of videos it was not a lot of videos for curved tips so i said to myself i said self myself said huh i said this is a market right here that we can go on it and be a part of and so I'm just applying the tips the way I would normally apply them. Uh, Y'all, if you've seen it one time on camera, you've seen it a lot of times. And so, um, but this time I want to make sure that um, I was not close to my cuticle because I knew for what I was going to be doing that I needed to be, um, I needed my cuticle to be free of uh, a lot of product. And you'll see why coming up in a few so like i said if you've seen the prep i mean well you haven't seen i don't think i've done the prep on camera too many times but oh heat spike baby on this index finger right here that heat spike was real i said oh my goodness like what is really going on like why did why why are we heat spiking at this place at this space and in this and in this manner all right so i decided to cut that uh clip short because like i said if you've seen it once you've seen it twice so right here all i'm doing is cutting the tips of the nails they're a lot longer than what i would want them to be so i think they're more so of a like a xxl nail something like that so what i was trying attempting to do i don't know if i did it well but i was just attempting to cut the number off um and so on some on one hand it's longer than the other so i ended up going back in after i had already cl clipped them right here i went back in after i had applied all the product and reclipped them um i don't have an issue with doing that oh so right here what i'm doing is um i was i did apply on my right hand i applied nail glue to the place where the two tips met and so i did that for additional coverage so i'm going in with some builder gel uh underneath the nail to ensure a smooth and flawless nail and i do that to most of the nails that i do now uh well if i do a encapsulated nail i go in uh multiple times with it but i want to do that here to give the nails some strength because the nails are a little um they're more flimsy than what i am what i'm used to and i think it's simply because it's just a regular nail tip so right here i'm using the savvy land builder gel and i'm gonna go in with the builder gel <clears throat> as well and i'm going to uh, well a thicker builder gel to add more strength to the nail and i'm gonna do that for all five nails um this stuff right here oh sis this stuff was it's sticky you know what i'm saying and it's like <laughs> not only is it sticky okay but it's sticky and it's messy i don't i don't like that stuff like i don't it reminds me of the one time when i was a kid y'all ain't y'all ain't got nothing to do y'all came here to, to watch the video anyway so it, it reminded me of that one time when i was a kid and me and my cousin we were on the side of my grandma's house because it had just rained in texas i got that my that accent came out quick i don't even know where, where it came from but we were on the side of my grandma's house in texas and we were making mud pies 
I think that like I think that that experience traumatized me because I don't like I, it was so gross. I like I don't see how kids go out and like play in the mud. Like I understand playing in the rain, but playing in the mud like that's something else. So what I'm doing right here, uh, that was a little story time. You know what I'm saying? That one, that one was free. So I'm taking a significant amount of this builder gel. You see how the builder gel just go back to its original shape and I'm going to be using the Beatles 971 and 972 to create a custom color um I know that I wanted to use hard gel to make um different nail creations and so that's what I'm going to be doing today um because I like the fact that it's a hard gel so that means that if I decide that I want to use this on a press on nail that the nail for the person is going to be very very sturdy so i was looking for a like like a uh not a sherbet color but i was looking for like a specific type of orange like a peach kind of color so i was looking for more of a peachy type color because i want to do some like quartz looking nails but not quartz in the traditional sense so i want to make like a marble um on the nail and so i uh, initially i had seen uh right now what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be applying a clear layer of builder gel to the nail to create a slip layer and so initially i was trying to apply the builder gel the way that i saw um lizette cruz here on youtube she has a channel and she does strictly hard gels i mean i think she does some acrylic and some poly gel but she's more so of a hard gel person so when i saw how she was doing her gel i tried to do the same thing but it wasn't really working out the way that i wanted it to wanted it to so i said to myself i said so myself said huh i said we need to go ahead and do this the way that we want to do it because she's a licensed cosmetologist i ain't licensed i ain't got no license i mean i am licensed you know for security and you know i got some other licenses but you know i got you know business i'm licensed and stuff like that but when it comes to nails i ain't got no license i'm just doing uh you know basically at this point it's guesswork however i know what i want my nails to look like so um you see like this and so that's how she applies it like she applies it in a um like a i don't know like she glides it on so what i ended up doing was um when i ended up doing my right hand i ended up not applying it that way i just started um putting this on as if it was a polish so i just used it as a polish and um because the tips were already curved i didn't necessarily need to build the nail up like that because it they're already curved so i did try to um they're not super flat um but they're not also it's not a super high apex as well so um i stopped trying to glide it on and so that's why it was more so a little bit more lumpy than what i would like and when i tried to flip my nail over to allow it to run um well to pull in places it wasn't doing it so i said um i said we need to apply, apply this we need to try to apply this a way that is going to be more um efficient and more effective for us so i've done my right hand and i've done my left hand and so i have also gone in and done a little bit of filing because there was some like i said there were some places that were lumpy and bumpy and right there on my middle nail towards the end it was it's still lumpy but i was like look we've been doing this for way too long so now i'm going to be going in and creating like little creating lines so i was trying to go and trying to be professional and <laughs> i was trying to be professional and just you know like take it in and blot a little bit here it wasn't working so i said well let's figure out a way that we can make this work for us so what i was saying before is that i saw tabitha scott she's got a bunch of different she's got like a green quartz a rose quartz um but i hadn't seen anybody with an orange quartz 
and so that's what i want to do here and i also saw another lady her name is karen um she's linked in natalie mcrutledge here on youtube she's linked to natalie mcrutledge in um in the uk and um i saw her do a pink uh well she did a rose quartz as well and so the method that she did i actually like like she didn't do it like this but she did use a um uh holographic foil paper and um all kinds of other stuff like i knew that i was going to be placing stones and stuff on my nails so right now i'm going in with my aurora nail paper uh excuse me foil paper and it looks like there's nothing going on <laughs> but it is like there is product going on to the nail um yeah so i'm going in with a thin coat so now as you can see you see me taking the uh builder gel the hard gel whatever you want to call it and i'm gliding it on like a regular polish and i'm doing that because like i said when i got to my right hand i learned how i learned what worked for me and so this is what works for me and as you can see it is a smooth flawless transaction like it is I don't know if I'll ever go back. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be trying different stuff because why, like, why not? So I applied a thin coat and then I'm going to uh, cure that into the lamp. Everything gets uh, flash cured for the most part. And so I know that you guys are like, man, like those lines are big. They're big with reason because I want them to be able to be seen. Um, and I want them to be able to pop out, well, stand out whenever I go in with the crystals. So I want it to be like a marbly type effect, but not so much to where it's like you can't tell that they're quartz nails. So now I'm going into a different direction, creating different lines. And I will admit that they are, those um, lines are a bit bigger um, but like I said, I, they need to stand up and they need to stand out against the um, busyness of all the bling. So I didn't intend to bling every nail. I, as a matter of fact, my uh, left thumb is not blinged. Not sure. Not sure what happened to the left thumb. Uh, every everybody else got bling, but the left thumb is just just a moment of silence for the left thumb. Mm. all right so we're back and so i do go in with two coats of the white and i um do the foil paper twice oh no i do the foil paper three times so i put two so i put a slip layer of clear and then i did two quote two quotes mm. two coats of this beautiful orange um then i went in with the white and I made different veins and different lines. And some in some um, quartz, they do look like this. They are thick like this. So you can go and look up quartz nails or quartz. And you'll see that not all of them are just, you know, slim, skinny little veins going through. And then I went in with um, another orange, another white, another foil cure orange don't do it again no and then um i do the foil again and so now i'm topping it off with my email couture shiny gel love this um it's my favorite no wipe top coat and it leaves the nails really glossy um if you've seen this top coat once you've seen it twice you've seen it three times and um so i really like how the nails turned out i didn't want to leave them naked so i said to myself i said so myself said huh i said let's put some bling on these bad boys so i'm adding um another 3d alloy charm to my nails it is this week we doing the flower um you know so we've done the butterfly we've done the uh teddy bear for olivia we've done uh oh we've done the um other uh marble oval deals and so now we doing flowers because why not so i'm using my mccart rhinestone glue and i'm going to be 
adding this glue to I'm using the glue for the most part for the um, stones that I actually need to um, stay I need them to stay stuck so what I was noticing is is that um, when I would initially squeeze the McCart glue it appeared that the glue had separated um, and this had been happening for a period of time so what I ended up doing was taking the glue um, and while the glue is still in the tube like pressing the tube but not pressing it so much to where it um, squeezes out but like making sure like I mix the glues and so before I applied anything to my uh, to the nail I squeezed it out just a little bit because we ain't wasting products because why we purchase this stuff ourselves and so I noticed that that made a difference like whenever I use it nothing came off nothing has popped off so i know that that was the issue because it was kind of the glue was more liquidy it was more watery than what it should have been during the initial um squeeze so right here i have some um my index finger it index well i guess we'll start there the index finger the uh bow I got from Sheen. The other two charms are um, Swarovski crystals. My middle finger I got from, uh, what's your name? Daily Charm. And then my index finger I got from um, Sheen. And the um, spinner thing I got from Amazon. Then the, uh, so all the Swarovskis that you see are from, um, sky beads and their crystal a b swarovski crystals off camera um i put on my index my pinky finger the flower is from sheen and the uh well my index finger is from index my pinky finger is from sheen all i had initially tried to put on there some um the pinky finger initially i was trying to use a pom-pom for it but what ended up happening was that the something was going on with one of the magnets so instead of um using it um putting the magnet on there instead what i decided to do was i just i popped that off and then i just applied the um the crystals from um what your name is from sheen because the magnet, it wasn't, um, like, it would stick, but it wouldn't stick, like, on there. It would stick off to the side. So, I said, I can't be walking around like this because if Grace want to hold my hand and walk with me to my car because she wants some snacks, I ain't going to be able to, you know, hold her hand properly because I'm be worried about if my pom-pom going to fall off in the baby hand. So, um, I did do two full nails of crystals. I messed up with this one because you can't even really see the detail of the Daily Charm charm because I done covered this bad boy with Swarovski's. I said, girl, what you doing? And Because at first I had the small, I was going to do smaller Swarovski's. I said, girl, we're going to be here all day if you do them little baby ones. You need to go on to the next step. And so that way you ain't got to use that many crystals, okay? Okay, so go ahead. I'm going to let y'all watch this clip. And then I'll be back, okay? So, I decided I want to cut that clip short, too, because, uh, look, it is what it is. So, right here, I am going to be using my um, piercing tool that I purchased from Amazon. I purchased a kit that had about, I don't know, it's got a lot of different, um, uh, what's something it's called? It's got a lot of different loops. Yeah, loops and uh loops hoops girl it's got a lot of different hoops so i want to try to i've done it before where i have um uh pierced my nail um and that's super duper old school like i remember back in the um 80s that women would pierce that and they would be piercing a natural nail and you know rocking that bad boy y'all the struggle was the struggle was real i don't know why i did not think to just use my little drill to do this to make the hole a little bit bigger um i guess because i don't want my nail to um crack because that's what actually happened on my right hand on my right hand i use the um i pierced my index finger index 
<sighs> I pierced my ring finger on my right hand. And so what ended up happening was is that when I was wiggling the uh, hoop in there, I heard a I said, what is that? Man, I had end up cracking that um the nail tip. And not the not the hard gel, the nail tip cracked. I said, Oh, okay. So what I ended up doing there is I ended up placing some nail glue on there. Uh was it did I just do nail glue? No, I ended up putting some uh a little thin coat of builder gel. And then I went in with some, like, to the place where it cracked. I placed some um, of that brush-on nail glue that I have. I placed that on there to ensure that, because uh, I'm not necessarily worried about the nail underneath. However, I don't want it to be no uh, to be an issue because the nail underneath is already, like, if it's separated from the hard gel, the hard gel would still act as if it was a clear tip underneath. I already know that. So I wasn't necessarily worried about it, but I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to, you know, we ain't trying to go out like that because we know. Okay. So I had a two. So the hoop that I'm using right here, it, it's too big. Um, the struggle was real. I may, cause I have two drills. I have a power drill. It's pink for, and it's not pink because I'm a woman. It's pink because it some proceeds went to um, breast cancer research, and then um, I have another one that I use when I use my um, uh, when I do my acrylic uh, cups. So in that one, um, it was it's more so uh, that one is real powerful too. So I I don't know. I don't know which one I would do. I don't know which one I would use. Um, so yeah, we'll. So I went down to a smaller hole, and so when I did that, it was so much more easier. But I believe it was or it was easier because the bigger hole, the bigger hoop, and that was just the one that's right next to it on the um, left side. It had um, you know created a a bigger hole for it anyway. You know so. Moving on, I um just and you don't if you're gonna do this, you don't want to open it up too much because you could end up um spreading out the space so much to the point to where it doesn't look like a circle anymore. Like you don't want it to look like an over or anything like that. Like you want it to look like a circle. And if you're gonna be piercing it with doing it with this little hand drill like I'm using, you want to make if if either with the hand drill or the electrical one, you want to make sure that you're going slow. And But this one right here, this stuff right here, it's, it's um, sis. It's, and for the few minute watch, it's, um, hey, it's very sharp, okay? And so I was concerned about poking myself. And you see this little, um, that little ball down there. I was going to use that onto the nail, but then I was like, nah, let's not, let's not use this. Uh, let's save this for something else. Cause y'all know I like stuff dangling. I like dangles. I like danglings. That's what I like. Those are my things. I don't know why. I just like stuff that I like stuff that dangles. Okay. And so I was struggling on this one too. And then when I went to my right hand, the struggle was even more real to what, to the point to where my daughter was like, mommy, are you almost done? <laughs> I said, girl, yeah, almost. And so, um, I hope that you enjoyed this, uh, new video cause this is journey with Wendy. So I did try something new on my nails and I really like it. It's so much better than poly gel. Could you use the lazy method with this? You could. I've you I've done the lazy method, the lazy girl method before with builder gel. It worked really, really well. Um, but I mean, you know, to each his own. So this has been Journey with Wendy. I mean she, her, and Wendy. New videos are posted every Tuesday and Thursday, sometimes on Wednesdays, depending on what's going on. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them down below or hit your girl up at Journey with Wendy with an I, not a Y, at gmail.com. And I do like when I hear people trying to say, um, 
new when my new videos are posted. I really like that. I had somebody tell me that the other day uh, when I post my videos. So I sure appreciate y'all, you know, rocking with your girl. I appreciate y'all being on this journey with me as I journey with Christ because I don't, I never know what I'm going to get either. So with that, you know what that means? That your girl is what? That your girl is a yo. Thank you.